previously on the Fisayo Explores Kenya. So here's a backstory. Women are not allowed to jump. And they are not allowed to do a number of things in the Maasai period. They have a very strict culture. Now you'll have to go and visit my site to read more about the culture. So because of this, we were told we were not going to jump. But you know, as you heard me, I was advocating for us jumping because we're not Maasai. So we shouldn't be constrained to their culture. So enjoy this video and go watch the previous episode if you haven't. Lastly, please do subscribe. Hi all liars, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Fisayo and I'm a tourism development advocate. I tell stories from within the sessions I visit, inviting you to my world of travel and giving you insight on what needs to be improved in some African destinations so that Africa can position itself to be number one tourist destination in the world. Enjoy this video. Good morning guys. So we are here on under game drive this morning and yeah cheetahs I didn't really sleep anyways, but we left the hotel as early as 6 a.m. Yes, I left the hotel, or we left the hotel as early as 6 a.m. So we can come to the Serengeti. You could see the border of Tanzania and um, Kenya. So we saw a leopard, or sorry, a cheetah actually. So guys, we're presently in Tanzania. And right here, we saw some cheetahs, just two of them. So we just go to the border of Serengeti and which is Serengeti in Tanzania, the Serengeti and Kenya. We crossed into Tanzania without even having to do any border or passport or visa or whatever. <laughs> the border patrols are the <laughs> and the cheaters. <laughs> And right now we're about having a breakfast. I think it's around 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. And it's currently, if it's 9 a.m., that means it's currently 7 a.m. in Nigeria. About to have breakfast in the bush, as you can see, I'm walking through the bush. I don't know, I think we're presently in Kenya, not Tanzania anymore. But what if, what if an animal comes and meets us? Would it be part of the experience? Or you guys will say, I told you so. My mom will say, I told you so. Anyways, here we go, here we are. It's a fun experience. Ooh, see poo on the floor. And I would say it's magical, like the name actually fits the what they're actually selling. Do you understand? It makes sense. I like it. Ah, Daniel. Daniel David, which one? Okay, the jumbo. In Karibu, Karibu. <laughs> We're having breakfast with the hippos, yo. They don't attack. They don't attack. They don't. They are too busy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have my breakfast now. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> Here is a picture on my Instagram from the bush breakfast experience. 
For more pictures, check out my Instagram at the Fisayo. And for prices and more information on these destinations, visit my site www.thefisayo.com. Now, let's take a little tour into the hotel that arranged this breakfast in the bush experience for us, Serena Hotel. Only 320 kilometers from the capital city, Nairobi, the Mara can be accessed either by road or by air. As you walk into the grand entrance, the interior design is clear of the rich color that surrounds the Maasai people and are met by our friendly staff, all is prepared to receive you with a warm smile. Decorated in the iconic Maasai cultural style in honor of the guardians of this ancient land, the open plan fashion creates a relaxed atmosphere. The lodge stands high on a bush cloaked hill, with a commanding view over one of Africa's most dramatic wildlife arenas. With over 70 elegant rooms designed on offer, ranging from a double to the more spacious executive suite, be sure that the world is always at your fingertip with access to high-speed Wi-Fi. Close attention is paid to detail, whether it's the lampshades, mirrors, paintings and beddings, all designed to transport you to a home away from home. Enjoy our signature Oringa massage, which makes use of a subtle blend of aromatherapy oils chosen to evoke the distinct fragrance of the savannah. Our modern, fully equipped gym is there to meet your needs and more. Take a dip in the pool whilst enjoying the once-in-a-lifetime views. It would be a pity to leave without a souvenir, so why not take a slice of African culture with you from our gift shop? Heading off on the game drive is the beginning of your adventure. The exciting part is the anticipation of what you may run into, coupled with what the lodge has planned for you. As if seeing the Mara from the ground isn't enough, you can always choose a bird's eye view by taking a hot air balloon ride. Okay guys, we just had our wonderful breakfast. Oh, by the way, let me go and do something. And we are heading to the oh, no. airstrip, the otherwise known as the airport, no, no, to take a flight to Nairobi. So, here we go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video fam. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to ask for one favor. Please share with at least five friends so that they can come watch this video and you know, think of exploring Kenya too. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't. And till next week, do not forget to stay awesome, stay inspired. Peace. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't go anywhere yet. This is what you'll be getting next week on the Visaya Expose Kenya. <laughs> See you next week.